Okay, let's take a tour of the email system. You can reach it by going to mail.google.com. When you get there, you're going to type in your name, which is your first initial and last name. So you're going to type that in. And then it's at Lorraine Digital Academy. Dot com. When you click next, if it accepts it, then it'll let you put a password in. And your password simply is the same password you've been using to get into Plato, etc. So hit sign in. If you want to stay signed in, click that box and hit signed in. It asks you to remember the password. That's up to you if you want to. If it's your computer, you can say save it. If it wasn't your computer, I would not save the password. Okay, now we're in the system. You can see down the side here you have the inbox. When you click the inbox, you're going to get your messages. If you want to delete these messages, you can just click them. And you'll see a little trash can here, and you can click it, and that will get rid of your messages. If you want to compose an email, you click this button over here. There's a video on that, so go watch that. The important thing, though, are these apps in the upper uh, right-hand corner. When you click that, you can see all the different apps that you have. You have your mail. You have a calendar your Google Drive, if you want to do something like Microsoft Word, that's Docs, you have spreadsheets, and if you need something like PowerPoint, that's called Slides. There's actually some more stuff. If you click the word More, you can see some more options here. If you scroll back up, you can go back to the top of your apps. If you want to change things, there's a little gear here. If you click that, you'll see two different things, Settings and Themes. Let's first look at Settings. There's a lot of settings. I'm not going to go over all these different settings here. I'm just going to pick two of the different settings. So I'm going to scroll down here. If you want to put a picture of yourself, there is a way by clicking picture. You can select picture and find that picture on your computer. But I want to show you as a signature file. And this is something that when you click this and add it, it will show up in all your emails. So for example, I'm too lazy to keep typing thank you. So I'm going to type thank you and then the name of this uh, student whose name is student test. So now this will be on every single email and you'll see that later on if you do a compose email video you'll see that show up. And make sure you scroll down and you want to make sure that you if you change something you want to make sure that you say save change. If you don't do that you're going to wonder why it doesn't show up. Now if you're tired of this white background and you want to change it and go back to the gear and you'll see themes. Click themes and if you click a theme, you'll notice instantly your background changes. And every time you click a new background, it will change. If you decide you don't want a background like this, you want solid colors. If you scroll down, you will see that there is a place for solid colors. And what I like to do when you have the solid colors there, I like to actually pick a theme and then blur it out to make it blurry. And so if you come down here to the bottom, you'll see it says blur. If you click that, you do a slider as how much blur you want. And you can see now that the background has blurred. So I kind of like that kind of a look. I hit save. And so now I have a blurred background. That's a quick tour of this email system.